Okay, today's video is going to be about lipids. We talked about carbohydrates yesterday, which were short-acting energy. Um, lipids are going to be your long-acting. Any if you eat them in excess, they turn into fat. But let's go ahead and look at where we are on our PowerPoint. Remember, we've covered all of this. Lipids are going to be the monomer of in order to be a monomer, it's going to have to have a fatty acid, three of them, and a glycerol, which is right here. They're held together by a carbon bond. You can see it written out here as well in this the chemical structure. The polymer of a lipid is a waxes, steroids, phospholipids, and triglycerides. When you look at the characteristics and functions, um, if you've ever seen oil and water together, they don't mix. So they kind of stay separated, kind of like this picture here. The reason why is because the lipids don't like water. Um, they're stored for long-term energy. They help regulate cells, what goes in and out of the cells, the phospholipid bilayer. And examples are fats, oils, cholesterol, phospholipids, and waxes. Some facts about lipids are they don't like water. That's what the hydrophobic means. They're made, and most lipids can be made in your body except for lipids called essentially fatty acids. We'll see the essential fatty acids here later when we talk about um, other of the macromolecules. Okay, so lipids store more energy than any other macromolecule. They have flavor to food like bacon fat. I'm sure you've heard of that. And, and hamburger grease and all those different fats and, that are in, in food that make them taste good. Some fats when eaten too much can make you overweight. We know that. Um, so here are some of the foods. Milk, cheese, meat, oil, butter, avocados, nuts, and seeds. Here is a video to watch in addition to the video I've just shared with you. And uh, let's go back to current lessons so we can see what else is on our list. You have an article to read here. Um, you also have um, this information here to complete. You're gonna continue working on your foldable. Um, inside the foldable, you will see the assignment. You'll see here is what's needed in the foldable, um, which was shared with you prior to now. And then your assignment here um, is where you turn in the foldable. Let me show you in here, we have an example as well. Here's some examples of what it could look like on the outside and inside. These are all due the 27th of January. I've also changed this date from originally so you've got extended time. You have to choose one of these three projects, which we've talked about for well over a week. Um, and that has been extended as well to the 29th. Here's where you submit that project to. Um, any questions, please ask.